Welcome back to another episode. I hope you're all doing well. It's nice to have you back with me. To the new subscribers, and if you're here for the first time, welcome. Recently, I had put out a video with some new camping gear that I have collected over the last couple of months, anticipating this new camping season of 2024. One of those items was a folding camp cot. Now, since then, I've had several people ask me about some of the specs. How much does it weigh? How long is it? How much weight can it hold? Stuff like that. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna give you the full deal, all of the specs on this folding camp cot. I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step setup uh, in detail, and then we'll take a look at the finished product to see if it's something you might be interested in. I wanna see if this folding camp cot will fit inside my smallest tent. If you're interested or you're in the market for a camp cot, this one might be the one for you. Let's start with the brand. This camp cot is made by Cascade Mountain Tech. It's the same company that makes the folding chairs that you may have seen in some of our other videos. We really like those because they're lightweight and they really fold down quite small, which makes it easy when we're throwing all of our gear into the back of the Jeep. This is actually a pretty nice bag. It's ripstop nylon and it actually has YKK zippers. Uh, which is good because you know you're gonna get a quality zipper that it's not gonna break on you. It's got a little carrying handle and then on the top there's also an adjustable shoulder strap that you could throw over if you needed to carry it this way or maybe throw over your backpack. Although I wouldn't really see myself carrying this to go backpacking. However, I would consider taking this to go canoe or kayak camping. As we open it up, we have our cot material. See the logo on here and inside we have one, two, and three of the bottom brackets. They, those are the crossbars. We've got our main poles that go from front to back. Inside we also have our instruction manual which shows you the pieces that come and how to put this together step by step. Now these poles, they do have bungee cords just like your typical tent poles. Now the way this works is we're just going to slide the poles into the sleeve on both sides. There is a little tab right here which is a pull tab and this is the end that you have to slide the pole in and this allows you to give some tension to pull it back. So just take our pole into the sleeve. slide it and there's a little pull tab you can pull that and that seats the pole in nice and snug. Now for the next step once we've got the poles in flip it over and We've got our cross braces. Now, the way these work, you can only put these in one way. There's a little tab on the top, so it goes in to the bracket here. Same thing with the other side. This is what our cross brace looks like. There we go. Now the way this works, real simple design. On these, it's got a little handle. Press the two pins to unlock and we 
clip it to one side onto the pole, get it seated to the other side, pull it back, and you'll see that it locks into position and you can see how much tension there is already on here. A little bit more on the specs. Like I said, it has all the details of the specs on here. I'll just let you know that the cot weighs five pounds, just over five pounds, 5.4 pounds. The width of it is 25 and a half inches wide. The length is 75 inches. So you're getting a full six feet, three inches in the length. And the weight capacity for this is 330 pounds. Correction. The weight capacity for this is 320 pounds. Now, just sitting down here, I can tell, I can feel uh, the tension on here. It's actually keeping me up off the ground. Also, I forgot to mention that this sits six and a half inches off of the ground. Now, there's a lot of different models out there that are very similar setup in the way that it works with the cross members and, and the poles. Some of them also have an additional footing that can bring it up to 12 to 14 inches off the ground. If you wanna be higher up, doesn't mean you have to get down so low to get up and down. You could also use it as a bench. I got this caught for $69.99 Canadian and I purchased it, purchased it at Costco. I did look on Amazon they don't have this exact cot on Amazon. However, they do have the same brand of the folding chairs that we have. So if you wanna get a hold of some of those folding chairs, you can order it on Amazon. They are cheaper at Costco if that's an option for you. So I'm 5'9 in height, and I'll just show you what we're looking at here. Initially just laying down on it, I can feel the support. It's not really sagging underneath. And if I put a light air mattress, little blow up air mattress underneath this, that would give me even more cushioning. And I don't feel any of the cross braces underneath digging into me. And it's wide enough that I'm not feeling this against my hips at all. So this is the perfect size cot for someone like myself. Now, now here's the last test. I know it doesn't look like it just because of the camera angle, the way that I'm sitting here, but I wanna see if this camp cot will fit inside my smallest tent. Let's do that. Hey guys, I can't believe that actually fit. I thought I would have had to put it together inside, but take a look. It actually fits without even pushing on the ends, which is kind of nice. If I had one of the taller cots, then I would have a bit of an issue. So this ground level cot works for this small one person. Maybe you could squeeze two people in here, but we're gonna say it's a one person and some space for your uh, for your gear. If you wanna add a little bit more comfort, you could go with something like this. This is actually an air mattress. Here we go. This air mattress is the exact same length as this cot. And I got plenty of room without my head or my feet touching the end of the tent. There you have it. All right. There is lightweight, compact, affordable camp cot that you can get for under $100 Canadian 
I hope this uh, video was uh, helpful for you if you're looking to maybe get a folding camp cot. Any of my new gear that I get or any of the gear that I'm using, I will give you uh, a lot more detail and the specs on some equipment that I have. Maybe that'll help you in making a choice whether it's something that you need to add to your camping gear. You can see the breeze is picking up, clouds are moving in, we're expecting some rain and we are expecting some snow this week. That could make it interesting. I might have to get out and set up some more gear in the snow. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. And of course, I will see you on the next adventure. Like this is going to be, this thing is going to be awesome. I mean, this is going to be legit. Oh, wow.